around here. Where is everyone? But what kept you? Is my breakfast ready yet? Oh. <laughs> oh, don't just stand there. Someone go and put the kettle on. Oh, hello. Oh, there. There's a little boy. Give me that. Who's W.R. with his arm? Mine, give me it. And what's this doing here? It's for my lab, isn't it? What have you been snooping around down there for? I wasn't... I have something been... going on. Have you had some lonely friend visiting while I was away? Of course not. Well, I don't care how many mad letters you write yourself, cos I know nobody else will ever write to you. But you keep out of my lab and you keep off my things, right? You didn't actually give Gran this rubbish, did you? What's it to you if I did? No, if you don't mind, I should like to get dressed. All those things I said, I didn't know. Really... You were right to scold me as you did. Had I not brought your grandmother close to death? But you made her better. Oh, I, I put right what I'd done wrong. And see what new dangers I've heaped upon you and through my own foolishness. You were right to wish me back in the tower. I should never have left it. I've disappointed you, betrayed you. For ambition. For greed. For pride. Oh, I, I can read your soul best. You trust me no longer, and why should you? Now, I told you, a ghost may rest only where he is trusted and wanted. I'm no longer wanted here, and so I must go back where I belong, back to the tower. No. Yes, I'd hope to do you and your family some small service, but I shall meddle no more. Please. No more tears, no. That's for you and Nanny quite. Walter! You have in you the blood of the Rallies and the Throckmortons. And we do not lack for courage. Before long, you may have much need of it to carry you through the storms that lie ahead. What storms? Nay, no, cousin. I can say no more. Only have faith and all will be well, I promise you. Think kindly of me and often, I pray you, farewell. Walter? We've got to sell the lot. Not everything. Everything. Sorry? But how are we going to farm without any animals? We aren't. Not anymore. Don't you understand? The farm belongs to Mr. Watts, same as the house. We're a year overdue with the rent. He wants us out of the house and off the farm. Where are we going to live? It's all right, dear. 
I've had a word with Aunt Ellie. We're all going to stay with her for a while, just till we get things sorted out. Not a word to Grand mind. She mustn't know anything. Will! He's more worried about Will than himself. What will that do? Get a job somewhere, I expect. But what if he can't? Then I'll get a job. What if you can't get one either? Oh, don't worry. Something will turn up. Wednesday morning, six o'clock, the big van. Yes. Oh, and you bring the 20 tea chests? Thank you. See you then, Mr. Anson. Bye. What happened to you? Nothing. You're not going to sell the tracks to the horrible Boroughvilles, are you? Yeah, their money's as good as anyone else's. How was school? It's all right. No, it wasn't. Everyone knew. Knew what? About us, about the farm. They said we were poor. We had a fight. It's great. Wet rot. Condensation. No central heating, you see. Gotta expect it. Excuse me. betrayed him. The king, his friends, everyone. He fought Spanish galleons. He captured whole islands with just a few sailors. They weren't a bit grateful. He brought back cedarwood and spices and jewels for the queen from the orange cocoa, where there are 12 waterfalls as high as a church. They didn't care. They took all his land and put him in the tower and cut off his head. He wasn't a traitor at all. You miss him too, don't you? Look like what he did for Gran. He won't let us down. I know he won't. At 560 pounds. At 560. 580 pounds. At 580 pounds. At 600. At 600 pounds. At 600 pounds. Are you all done then? At 620 pounds. I'm selling. Sold then for 620 pounds. Mr. Yellen. Here you are then. Where do you want to start me? Fine looking pony. Nine years old. He's the catch, box and shoe. Is that 100 then? Uh -huh. At 100 pounds. At 150. At 250. At 250. At 300 pounds. 350. At 350. At 380. At 380. At 390. At 420 pounds. 420 pounds right in the Senate then. I'm selling then at 420 pounds. Are you all done? Sold at 420 pounds. Mr. Borrowville, again. You said it wouldn't happen. But it is, isn't it? Oh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask you, who is it who won't let us down? Look, I have to help with you. Where are you going?
Have faith, you said, and all will be well. You promise me. So indeed it shall be, Chick. So it shall. Remember, I too know what it is to lose everything. I shall make amends. And this time I shall not fail you. Tarry here but a short while, and I shall return. Twenty minutes ago. Now go on with you. We're doing all we can, sir. I promise you that. I've got every available man on the job looking for her. Well, no, that's more than was looking for my cows. Let us be gone. <laughs> For I have taken the honey from the hive. Here, the honeycomb itself, I fear it may make them mad. Hey. Why, the bees, cousin, the bees. No all answer. Come, make haste. Hello? Dad. Bess. Cripes, Bess. Where are you? I'm in London, Dad. I'm all right, honest. London? Bess. What do you want to go running off like that for? Told you she was upset, weren't you, darling? But just to go off like that without saying a word? The main thing is that she's back safe and sound. I didn't mean to mark her out, darling. We understand. Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Children, not natural. But it's the matter with that dog. Weather forecast. Is that mine? Against Derby County, which marks their well, matter as much now, I suppose. And now it's tonight's you. main story. Ben. Scotland Yard have confirmed that one of the crown jewels is missing from a sealed display case in the Tower of London. They say there's no evidence... You stay there, Hamf. And no alarm... You won't be allowed on Bessie's bed tomorrow night at Aunt Ellie's. ...known as the sovereign orb, carried by the monarch on all major ceremonial occasions, including the coronation. The jewel, a golden orb... Circled no, Hamf, you'll have to sleep standing up so as not to get hairs on the carpet. ...by a cross of diamonds, pearls Shut and up. Eyes, ...is familiar to millions of visitors and is said to be worth over £20 million, although experts doubt whether it can be sold, even in the... What do they want to go and pinch the crown jewels for? The has made no statement they can't sell them, the can they? Theft. The tower has been closed to the public tonight until further notice, and streets round the tower have been That's sealed off. That's not the one, is she? Advised to I hope she brought them home with her. Another weather. <laughs> A warm front over central... Go on, Scotland upstairs, both of you. Areas of ...during the night the the borders and southern areas of Scotland. In the Midlands and Wales, there'll be light showers with the prospect of mist on low lying. It was you. It was you.
But how'd you do it? I didn't do it. Honest. So how come you're standing there holding it? Is that really it? I suppose so. Well? You don't believe me anyway. If you don't tell me right now what's going on, I'll take it next door and show it to them. Honest, I will. Right then. Really, Master Will, no further. Well, Cuz, will you not present me to your brother? We'll be paying haste and take it from him, for I fear that he may drop it. This is my friend Walter. Walter Raleigh. He's one of our ancestors. No, it, it's all right. He won't hurt you. Honest, he won't. Don't know in history. He's dead. Aye, Master Will, and have been for nigh on 400 years. Then he's a ghost. A real life ghost? The real, Master Wilbert, unhappily not live. Shall I tell him all? Can we put our trust in him? What think you? Mm, I think so. Then no, Master Will, that your sister, in her kindness, brought me here from the tower many long weeks ago. Walter Raleigh. It was him that wrote the letter, wasn't it? Aye, it was. And the bottle? That was medicine. It was him that made Gran better. He made it down in your lab. I told you it wasn't me, didn't I? So it was you that stole the orb? <clears throat> Not stole, Master Will. Reclaimed. We can't keep it. We've got to take it back. I shall not. Master Will, the very gold in this trinket, yea, the jewels themselves, might have come from some Spanish treasure ship that I myself did capture. It was mine, I tell you, before it ever was the Queen's. Well, you were but it's wrong! Just because someone took it from you first, it doesn't make it right to steal it back again. And what if they find it here? We'll all go to prison. You shouldn't have done it. I had thought better of you, Cuz. Do you dare to teach me right from wrong? I have lived a lifetime and had hundreds of years to ponder on such things. I, who have shaped the history of the world, I am writ it too. All, all that I have done, I have done for you. You pay me thus with insults. No, it is not kind to spurn me thus. Nay, cousin. I see that you no longer have any need of me, and I would not be where I am not wanted. So, I bid you good night at once, and at once farewell. Oh, why not? No one's ever going to look for 
As soon as we've decided what to do with it, we'll dig it up again. We are graciously pleased to release you from our bloody tower and command you to hurry up and go to that farm, which is called Marshfield in the county of Devon, to visit the Lady Elizabeth Throck. I'd like you two out of here as soon as you've finished. I don't want you getting under everyone's feet. Those flaming Boroughbills are vultures. It's like they've been waiting for us to sell up and go. They bought more stuff yesterday than anyone. Tractor, elevator, four of my best cows. And Sally. Still, at least they got nothing cheap. They even paid 25 pounds for that pile of dung. What dung? In the yard. Well, don't look so amazed. Good stuff, that is. Well, are they coming to collect it? They've been already. First thing this morning. Wanted to spread it right away. Oh, that reminds me. I've forgotten my... You haven't finished your breakfast yet. You don't want any, do we? No. What are they up to? Now what? I don't know. I can't know something. If the barbells get it, they're the last people in the world that should have it. We've got to get it back. Well said, Bess. Walter, you came back. I'm... I'm... No, think no more on it, cousin. I'm too easily vexed. Come, shall we be friends again? Sweet Bess. Hmm? Master Will. Now, the border builds. The Borobills squat like spiders at Hayes Barton. It was there I spent my boyhood and my youth. And it was the Borobills' ancestors who stole my family's home. But it is the Borobills who are stealing your father's cattle. <laughs> now we shall take it all back. Not if he doesn't wish them to.
If you know but where to look. Time to go. Come on, Humph. No, he doesn't want to come. No more do any of us. He wants us there for tea. 4.30 on the dot. You know Ellie. She blows a whistle, doesn't she? Oh, Charlie, she makes a lovely tea. The scones are a poem. She gives you a running commentary to go with them. The David Coleman of home baking. Charlie, she's putting up with us, not us with her. What would your little rules be like if you'd lived on your own as long as she has? All right, fair enough. It's funny, I always leave it in gear. Have you been taking sneaky driving lessons, madam? Hello. starving. There's all my usuals. Date surprises. <laughs> Not much of a surprise. Cluster cake, coconut dreams. The sandwich is there, Gran. Oh, Will, you'd like a hokey pokey biscuit, wouldn't you? I won't offer you a vanilla kisses. I, I know what boys are like. Bess, you'll have a nutty, dear, won't you? Help yourself, Charlie. Oops, mind that sand. Uh, uh, Joan, a scone? Would you like a scone, Joan? I've got a little tip about those. Oh, Will, watch that cloth. You well, you're all very quiet. It's been a long day, Ellie. Yes, of course, dear. I know. Now I'm going to say something. I got a bone to pick with you. You should have discussed this with me. Old isn't stupid, you know. <laughs> Do you think I didn't know you were in trouble? Of course I did. I've got ears, I've got eyes. And I'll tell you something else for nothing. That farm, well, it was a millstone round your necks. All that scrimping and saving. I'm glad to see the back of it. <laughs> Mum, where'd you put the toothbrushes? Charlie, pass me a nappy for my little holder, will you? It's in the little plastic bag in the brown case. No, the blue one, sorry. If you want to change him, Joan, there's towels in the bathroom. Grand's in there. I don't like to disturb her. Oh, are you going to, um... Mum, you didn't pack my nap mat, my tea. That's gone to the warehouse, has it? No, of course not. It's under your nose, Daisy. <laughs> what are you going to do about the dog, Bess? Uh, will you be all right in the coal house? Do I smell smoke in here? No, I'm telling you, he won't. Well, um... Hang us for your dad. Well, you look after him then. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just thought I smelled smoke. <laughs> Charlie, the hangers for your soup. The bathroom's free now, Joan, if you want to do Jim's. Uh... Now, Charlie, they're, um, 
and keep them in order of size in this wardrobe. Metal on the left, wood on the right. Well, whatever you like. Oh, can I take those bloody boots downstairs? For God's sake, Ellie, leave it, will you? I'll get the hangers, I'll move the shoes, I'll scrape the mud off the carpet. Just leave us alone in peace and quiet for five minutes. If you want to sleep in here, I'll sleep on the landing. I really don't mind. No, Charlie, you're welcome. Your poor aunt. Ellie, awake. I fear so. She's lonely. There's such a crowd, she's lonelier still. This is her little castle. Her little prison, if you like. She's been in it so long. Now the castle is invaded. I think I know how she feels. She may need a kindly word. Hmm? Aunt Ellie? Aunt Ellie, you're right. Best dearie. What are you doing up? I didn't wait you, did I? Just having a cup of tea. Um, oh, of course I'm all right. I often make, uh, make a little pot. <laughs> I'm not used to sleeping on the landing, of course. <laughs> You'll catch your death, Pat. No, no, I was just pottering. I, I didn't wait you, did I? I thought I heard someone crying. <laughs> oh, Aunt Ellie, don't. It's all right. Don't. Oh, Beth, I'm just a silly old woman. I, I want, I want you all to come here, and I don't know what to do with you. I, I, I want you to have a good time, and then I spoil it for you. I'll never learn. I'll never change. But you're having us here. And that's very kind. I know Mum and Dad are a bit sad today for losing the fun and not knowing what to do next. But we'll be all right. You just have to maybe not mind too much if we're a bit messy, because we're used to cow pats and dung heaps. When I grow up, I hope I'll be as sensible as you, Auntie Bess, and know when people want you to talk to them and when they want you to hold your tongue. <laughs> Well, I'm scared of that thing. You haven't got a monkey wrench, have you, Ellie? Washer's gone and your sister overflow. Monkey wrench? Oh, it's a tool. I think Hamlet's trying to tell us something. And it might be better for your carpet if we take him for his walk now. I'll come with you. Can I? Yeah, sure. Come on. You don't mind, do you, Joan? No, of course not. Off you go. We'll be fine. I don't know this is. It's cold out there. There's tools under the stairs, Charlie. Bess! Will! Wait for me! <laughs> Where's he taking us? He's after something. He's trying to... He can see something, we can't. Well, 
That's it! It's there! I mean, up there! It's it! It's what? Shh! It! You mean the thing? Yes! What? Where? Who it? At what? Brother. Excuse me, sir. If you're not using it for a minute, can we borrow it, please? Here, just a minute. Oi! Where are you going with that? We have to. I suppose so. Seems a pity. Right, gotcha. Thanks very much. Would you mind if I borrowed my ladder at all? Not at all. Thank you. Some people are nick anything these days. Thanks so much. Came in very handy. What's this then? It's the... It's the orb, sir. What orb's that? Her Majesty's orb. From the crown jewels, sir. Of course. I understand that. I know the crown jewels. Anyone knows the crown jewels orb, don't they, Arthur? Yes, sir. This is, I presume, this is the orb from the Amateur Dramatic Society's production of Santa Victorious, right? Yeah. It's very like the crown jewels. A wonderful copy. I don't think you quite understand, Sergeant. This is the orb. You will be aware that the sovereign orb from the Crown Jewels collection has been stolen from the Excuse me, madam. I don't remember asking you a question. I was merely inquiring with this young lady. This young lady is my niece, Sergeant. And this young man is my nephew. And they have found the stolen item. And you are fortunate indeed that they have chosen in their honesty to deliver this world-famous object to your safekeeping a decision, quite frankly, which, as their aunt, I advised them to take, but which, quite frankly, I have to say, in retrospect, I rather begin to regret. Hold up, hold up, hold, hold, hold it. One minute. We've got Esther Ransom here, Arthur. Go ahead, The object in question was discovered where? On top of the tree, sir. The tree? In the village square. And who found it, exactly? Will. Well, Humph, really. Humph? The dog. <laughs> yes. The dog found a crown jewel yes. up a tree yes. in the village square. I've got a very busy afternoon. I'm extremely grateful for you having brought in this valuable item for my inspection, and I shall be in touch with you should there be any possible reward. Now, if you will, excuse me. What an awful man. Smoker, too. Well, that was a long walk. Are you all exhausted? I expect Humph led you a merry dance. Uh, no, we had... Yes. This is she, yes. You what? A what? How much? The dog. Outside where? Outside here. Thank you. Well, it seems we found the crown jewel. Yes! <laughs> Who found the crown jewel? Bess, Bill, Humph, me, <laughs> us. When was this? Just now, when we were out. Well, where did you find it, pet? 
The top of the tree in the blue square. <gasps> There's a reward, Dad. How much? Half a million pounds. <gasps> no! Yes! We get half a million pounds. <laughs> well, not us exactly. Who's there? Humph. <laughs> Or his owners. <laughs> and the press is waiting to talk to us immediately. Where? Here. Oh, my dear soul. No, you can't come around here. No, you won't move out. Get up, go on to the sun. Just please, please keep off the bed. So to my dad, I just wanted my winter family. And Mr. Chas Throckmorton. Are you Chas, Dad? <laughs> Mr. Chas Throckmorton, 39. You're 44, Dad. How come? Oh. I always get it wrong. <laughs> Said he was sure the family would make a sound investment. What's that? Farm. With the money. Not forgetting his cousin, the little girl, Ellen Louise Throckmorton, who first set them on the diadem trail. Nice diadem. Talking about you, Ellie. Local girl. Well, that's all silly, all that. Oh. Leave her alone, Charlie. You are awful. I don't change her a bit, her well. I'm looking for a farm, Mr. Throgmorton said. 200 acres at least. South facing in a particular corner of Devon. You still an ordinary girl? Still scrubbing the floors at number 14, Chase Crescent? <laughs> Enough now, Charlie. Listen, wait a minute. Look at this. No, listen, this is it. I've got it. It's here. A farm. 230 acres, Devon, south-facing. All livestock and machinery, fixtures and fittings for offer. Rock bottom price, owners... Haunted off premises. Yeah, it's the barbells. Now's our chance to get our own back. In a haunted house? You're going to let a newspaper story stop us getting our animals back? And all our stuff? And Sally? Oh, <laughs> well, Charlie, there's the phone. Dad, how much is rock bottom price? Oh, I don't know. Up the pearls and a ruby. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Oh. Just look at that. <laughs> look at this room. Could you get you? Stay whenever you get bored of your glamorous life in town. As a matter of fact, madam, many of our town customers are seeking just such a way and hideaway. There's plenty to do. Hunter? Yes. Shooting? Yes. Fishing? Yes. I'll take it. <laughs> So, Bess, we've come home. Mm. 
you knew all along, didn't you? Mm hmm. You knew about the Borrowables at Hayes Barton. You set the whole thing up to scare them off. From the moment you sat down beside me at the hotel, you knew. Right. But for one thing only. I knew not you, Bess. You it was who turned an old man's angry revenge into a sweet dream. Now the dream has come true. The rallies and the Throckmortons are home at last. But I still don't see why you played that joke on Will and me. You got the orb of the Borrowbills. So why did you pretend it was that lavatory thing? Ah, you had need of a witness. What would your mother have said? Where found you that, Bess? Uh, why, Mother, in the Borrowbills chicken coop. Well, who took you thither? Uh, my friend, Walter. It scarce would have served. I'd better go. Shall I... Shall we ever... Now that I have a country place, I may, as you modern say, just... pop in. So no adieu, cousin. But au revoir. Bye. Well, that's it. <laughs> Didn't Ellie say that that party thing that you and she went to was, was for our family and that we're all descendants of Walter Raleigh? I think so. Well, that angel fella says this was Raleigh's place when he was a boy. <laughs> so, do you think the Queen might send for me, Mother? Not unless you get a new coat. service to my Queen Bess, my last to you, with love. Thank you. For everything. at all the gates. Keep your shoes clean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.